I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we return to our Microsoft Access playlist and we're going to talk a little bit about how to slice and dice our strings a little bit. And uh, we're going to look at the left function, the right function, the mid function, uh, and the in-string function as well as the trim function and each of those has a unique way of sort of like taking little bits of a, of a word or, or a string that you have in memory and it's very very handy for your data engineering tasks and I'd like to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers uh, as my channel has recently passed 1,000 subscribers and uh, I'm glad that all of you have decided to join me and I'm super excited to continue on our journey. If you're interested in coaching or just seeing what goes on behind the scenes here, uh, make sure to check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. So without further ado, let's get to our string functions in Microsoft Access. So this is a familiar database. If you've been following uh, some of the exercises I've been doing on the channel, and uh, this has got a bunch of candy tables in it, and we've got these uh, uh, white chocolate and dark toffee and all kinds of stuff in our, our candy table, and that's the one we're gonna use today. You can ignore the rest of this stuff that we did in our previous episodes. And we're just gonna go uh, create query design, and then you can close that pop-up that comes up there, and then just drag the table you want onto your, uh, onto your query there. And I've selected uh, candy.star, which is going to give me all of the uh, uh, fields in there. And then I'm going to add a new field. I'm going to call it left for. And I'm going to use the left function. And uh, I'll put the candy name in there and then a for after it in the arguments. And that's going to give me the left for um, characters of the candy name. And then I'll continue on. And I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to call it the right for. And this is going to give the uh, right four characters of the candy name. Uh, and uh, these are actually, these are expressions. Um, so in Access SQL, you can put expressions into your queries. Uh, so this is not um, an actual uh, SQL um, function because um, we're going to be using a couple other ones. These are actually expressions. So you can use these expressions in other parts of the program like on your form or in form controls like a text box you can do that okay so I'm running it here and you can see I've got uh, the, the left four characters and the right four characters of each of the candy names in a new field uh, on the right side there and that's exactly what I want to see so um, in the same way I can also do um, I could do the middle the mid four characters um, or mid five characters I guess and I'll change it up here and I'll say uh, the mid five and again you just put in the candy name and then what you do is you, you want to put the starting position so we're going to start at, at character three and then we'll go we'll take four um, alphanumeric characters after that so so then we can uh, we can uh, grab those ones and oh, uh, that's actually the wrong function. It should be the mid function. I got ahead of myself there. It's the, so I'll call it mid five. That's the name of it. And I'm using the mid function there. And uh, when I run that one, uh, you'll see, now you can see it's got the, uh, the mid uh, four characters starting at the, uh, I think we said the, the uh, third character. So you can see that's how you can get the middle of a string if you want it. And uh, middle of a string is very, uh, very nice. Uh, sometimes you can, if you got something that's split up evenly, then you can use that. You can see I'm getting ERRY for cherry. And um, that's a nice way of getting, if you know that it's a fixed length and you just need those characters, then you can do it using the mid function. Now, in the next one, what we can do is we can say, well, what if we want to find a string from inside of another string. Um, so like I want to know if it has you know certain characters in it so I'll call my field has bomb and uh, and we're gonna use the the in string function and uh, and 
it works a little bit differently um, than the other ones do. In this one, we're going to say, uh, first of all, where to start looking. Um, so we're going to say start. In this case, we'll just say start at the first character and search the whole string. And the string is going to be this candy name uh, field. You can actually put something in, in quotes there, too, if you wanted. And look for the, you know, the, uh, the string bomb. And, uh, and that's going to, uh, the candy bomb is going to, um, it's going to look for that. So, so here we go. So I, if I run this query, then you can see uh, that it did find it in uh, the, the name cherry bomb. And it started at the eighth character. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's the eighth character in is the is where bomb starts, and uh, that's going to be something that uh, is very very handy. So you can look for any st string from inside of another string that you want, and it'll return a zero if it doesn't find it. And uh, you'll see in the next uh, little bit here uh, when I show this in VBA why that's handy. Uh, because we can treat it like a, a true false. And so that's our, our uh, query so far, and that's using uh, expressions, uh, Microsoft Access Expressions, and that's a very, very handy uh, way of doing it. Okay, so in the next one, I'm going to show you how to use, uh, how to use right and left and length to, to get, this is a very common thing that happens is, where you want everything except for the left two characters or the left three characters of a string. So I want everything except for those ones. Well, if every field is, is a different length, they're all different lengths, well, how do we do that? So I'll call my field everything but two. And, uh, and this is very, very handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the right um, number of characters, and we're going to put our candy name in there. And then uh, we're going to look at, we're going to use the length function. So we're going to take the length of the entire string, uh, candy name, and then minus whatever we want off of there. And so this will get everything except for the, the, everything except for the left two characters. And that's a very, very common string problem that we have if you're working on systems. Uh, so you can, you can do that one by saying everything. Uh, you can get everything except for the left two. So <clears throat> we used uh, the right uh, length and left functions in order to get this and all together. And as you can see, it's taken everything off of that string except for the left two characters. And so sometimes you have like a product code or something like that, and you, you want everything except for the left three or whatever. And so that's how you can get that one. Okay, so I'm also going to do the trim function, but I'm just going to show that at the end of our module here. Um, you can use it in the same way as we showed there. Um, and uh, so we can use exactly the same syntax. The nice thing is we can use the same syntax in our VBA code, uh, which we have here. This is the, uh, the code editor, and I went uh, uh, you know, home and then create and then module. And it gave me a new module, and I'm just going to make a new sub called do strings just to do this demonstration here. And I'll just put a comment at the top. It's always good to put a comment on your code just to tell people what you're doing. In this case, I'm just going to say do some string output. And, uh, and then what I'll do is I'm going to uh, make my, uh, my value string, I'll say, is equal to hippopotamus. <laughs> and... Uh, We'll use hippopotamus, and then we'll do the same slice and dice in VBA that we did uh, with, um, with the uh, expressions. Okay, so I'll fix up my uh, strings here. I'm actually going to uh, declare these strings here um, as a string. Oops, got to put as in there. Um, so I'm going to call uh, string value as a string and uh, string new as a string. And then um, now we can go ahead and we can populate those values and we can use the same functions that we uh, used before. So I'm just going to say uh, 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 the string new is equal to uh, left and then string value in five. And then I'll print that out and you can sort of get the same idea uh, from that. And uh, you can see that prints out hippo. And if I changed uh, left 
to right, then you can get you can see that that's going to happen the same way. Um, so uh, this is exactly almost the same syntax as what you saw when we did expressions, and uh, that's what makes it very handy. So we can do our mid function in the same way. Um, so we'll start at uh, the third character and we'll go for four characters. And uh, if we hit go on that, we'll get uh, pop. And then we can also show the everything but the left two characters um, like we did before. Um, so we can do that by combining some of these together just like we did before. And in order to do that, we'll do the uh, right and then we'll put our, our value string in there and then we're going to you know take the length of the whole string and then minus three as the uh, as the argument as a second argument and that's going to give us uh, popotamus which is the uh, what we wanted to see everything except for the left three characters now for the in string function it returns a an integer and so I'll put that into a long uh, a long integer um, data type and uh, I'll comment out that one there and instead of doing a string as our return I'm going to say our position is equal to the in string uh, and we'll put we'll start at one and uh, we'll put our string value as second one and we're going to look for PP and see where uh, the that string is somewhere in there and so we'll uh, print out our, our position uh, integer and if I hit go you can see it says that it starts on the third um, character of the string which is exactly what we uh, would expect and uh, that's how in string is uh, kind of handy and if I put xx in there and I hit go you can see it returns a zero and so a zero um, is kind of like saying false um, so it's not in there and uh, so what you'll see in a lot of programmers code is you'll say you'll see uh, you know if in string uh, then this else not and so you probably thought that it was you might think that it's a uh, you know a true false return value uh, which a lot of programmers they use it that way um, so um, like you could say if it's in there then uh, message box you know, um, the letters uh, PP are in uh, uh, the word hippopotamus. How about that? And uh, so we can uh, give a certain return or we can change our code execution depending on that. And I'll put a information tag on it and put hippo for our message box. And then if I hit go, then you can see, you know, it says the letters PP are in the word hip, hippopotamus. And uh, <clears throat> so that's sort of like a true result. Um, but what if we, now you could say, well, well, if it's not in there, then what are you going to do in your code? So you could say uh, the letters uh, are not in the word hippopotamus. I guess we could take out the, the PP from there. I guess we could, if we're going to put in a, xx or something up there then we can return that so I'll just say the letters are not in the word hippopotamus and then if I change that <clears throat> to something else then you could see it says you know the letters are not in the word hippopotamus and uh, and that's how you can use the in string function to change your code direction or the code execution and that's very very handy for uh, doing all kinds of processing tasks now, as a final um, sort of uh, string function, I guess we could look at the trim function. Um, and uh, the trim function is uh, very handy for getting rid of white spaces around your data. So sometimes you receive a CSV file and it's all garbled and there's like, you know, white spaces around, you know, the, the ID numbers and stuff like that. Well, you can use the trim function to take care of that. And so if I put some white space around there and I hit go, I just print it out, you can see, well, that's the actual value that is going to go into my field somewhere. 
and we don't want that um, unless you want the white space for some specific reason which is very rare um, so what we might do here is as you would expect we put the trim around our our uh, our uh, string there and it's gonna take care of that oh that's not very nice here let's delete the output there and rerun that okay so there you go so now you can see there's no white space around um, around your string and uh, that is how you use the string functions uh, to slice and dice in Microsoft Access. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do string functions in Microsoft Access. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet and uh, click the bell when you see the bell so you'll be notified of any new content that I put up. If you have any questions or comments about what you saw today, please put those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.